episode of PJ and the Beard, we're going to talk about the 2020 Wallach from Morley. And the Beard's going to tell you more about. Yeah, so this is the second pedal in the 2020 series that we've looked at. The first one was the Morley Bad Horsey. Um, and basically the story behind that is I've been using Morley pedals forever, so while they have a new series out, reached out to Morley and was like, hey, we'd really like to check one out. They were kind enough to send us that. Um, in that video, we mentioned that we thought the Wallach looked really cool. And they sent us this one, too. So um, we're really excited. So, yeah, Morley sent it to us, but it's a company that we've loved for a long time. Mm-hmm. And um, luckily, they're just, they're just killing it. Yeah. They're, they are. These, these are great. Um, I'm really impressed. Uh, in the box, and you can go out to Morley's website, they have a little pamphlet here that shows all their other products. They have a lot of pedals in the Morley Wallock series. We've done the Bad Horsey, this is the Wa- or the Morley 2020 series. We've done the Bad Horsey, this is the Wah Lock. They have the Classic Wah, the Power Wah, the Power Wah Volume, the Volume Plus, the Wah Boost, the Wah Fuzz, the Distortion Wah, and the Lead Wah. And I'm not sure, like, if we were going to try another one. All right. Which would be the other one I want to try. Mm-hmm. So... They are just killing it. Great products. Um, no exception. So this pedal, love the orange, by the way. Yes, it is cool. Very vintage looking. Like the glow in the dark Morley word on <laughs> uh, tread that they put on it. All that stuff is cool. This one's really interesting. It has the switchless wall like the bad horse you did. So you step on it. The second you push it forward, you're going. Um one of the things that Pat always talked about when we were talking about Mor- Morley's and we did some Switchless Law episode a long time ago was that inability to then just kind of leave it cocked in place. Right. And so they've solved that by giving you a little switch over on the right-hand side that turns on the wah lock. And then the uh, knob above that, you can sweep the filter and leave it where you want it. Mm-hmm. But that's not all. On the other side, they have what they is called the woe setting. Push that switch, it changes your wah from your kind of like standard wah to kind of almost a deeper, mm-hmm. more vocal kind of wah, I think. I look. I likened it more to like a talk box feel when the beard was playing it earlier. I'm like, hey, Peter Frampton just showed up. <laughs> they call it an exaggerated wah. Okay. Woe mode is an exaggerated wah. Uh, and then there's a volume pl- knob, just like we had on the Bad Horsey. So, and it's called loud. <laughs> <laughs> if you... If you uh, Push that. I, I actually find that the wah's pretty much at unity when you kick it on, but if you want to push that volume just to make your solo tone jump out a little mm-hmm. bit or push your amp, you can do that. So, really cool stuff. We thought we'd just kind of run through, uh, show you what's going on with this one. Start with 
Well, you're clean yeah. cut. And this is the 20, 2003? 2003. Les yeah. Paul Classic, uh, Sir Thornbuckers, mm-hmm. through Tyler PT22. Uh, let's see, reference down. <laughs> Already with wrong notes. A little reverb as you can hear on the amp. <laughs> this, this is the chord. Perfect. We're gonna make it. That wall is gonna make this sound so much better. It's got its work cut out for it. So yeah. So that's the reference tone. I think we discussed that we're just gonna start with just the standard uh, use of it as a wall, right? Yeah. <laughs> we're leaving it. It's fine. And then like I'm wearing the Cato Kalen collection tonight. Uh, I. <laughs> did not communicate. Listen, the soft underbelly of the of the store is of the store. The show is sometimes we say what shirts we're wearing because we don't want to show up with the same shirts. Although Mick and Dan did that one day, and it was kind of weird to watch them wear the same. All you need is fuzz shirt. Right. Uh, but but I didn't. I failed to text him real quick because I'm wearing these tonight. And um, we've already discussed that we are not going to be the ones showing feet on YouTube. So. We may or may not have had a little bag from a guitar stand laying around, so I thought, you know, that kind of blacks out the outfit nicely. So We go to great lengths <laughs> to make things presentable. For your and then he puts a bag on his foot. <laughs> <laughs> could put a bag over my head and improve the show as well. But <laughs> All right, so there's the backstory on the, again, the Puma Kato Kalen collection. Uh, so uh, we're just going to start playing, and I, it's off. <laughs> standard you can feel the whole sweep there when i was walking chalking um really cool gets bright on the top end as a as a wall would it's nice i like the sweep on this one i'm a huge fan of the bad horsey sweep but i like the sweep on this one i actually feel like it maybe doesn't get quite as bright mm. as the bad horsey i could be wrong about that um it, but, but but i really like it um so let's go to I guess why we're here, and we're probably not going to demo the volume knob too much. We did the, the Battle Horsey one that we did. Mm-hmm. We did that. We ran the volume knob to kind of show how you can get some more gain out of it, use it as a boost or whatever. And you can go look at that video. It would be a good way to get you to look at another video, I guess, um, if you're really, really interested in what a volume knob does. Um, Especially one that says loud. So we should take a second and look at the woe feature, I think. Mm-hmm. So why we have it on a clean tone. Right, right, right. So we heard the just the standard wah clean what's the whoa sound like clean okay so maybe kind of even playing the same yeah. sort of thing the volume on See what I call it? Whoa, now because it's whoa, whoa. Yeah, especially when you get back. And one of the things on these you have to be kind of aware of and get used to is that when you get all the way back, it cuts off. Like if you go all the way back and rest, mm-hmm. it cuts off. Um, so if you have that volume up a little bit, like we have it up just a little bit, you can sometimes hear that cut out. It clunks. Yeah. Right. Um, once you get used to it, and I mean, I did that a couple times when I was playing it, I think, in the intro or in the closing stuff, but once you get used to it, like, I don't feel like you have that problem. It's not a thing. Right. Or it's a thing that you start to use, because actually, I think it sounds really cool, too, when it's off and it, on this low setting, when it's off and you hit that low end, it gets that, like, rah, mm-hmm. rah, you know, I, I really thought that was cool. So It's like an episode of Sesame Street over here. Rah. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, but, oh. It's something to be aware of. Um... Now, the feature that I think is just freaking fantastic about this pedal is on the right side is this wad lock. Mm-hmm. Um, once we click, well, you can, if we click that on and then we roll, we're going to roll this back, this knob back. Not all the way, but back. Um, now we're locked probably closer to heel, right? Yeah. 
So let's actually, I mean, I can kind of move that with my foot, maybe let you play through okay. and then roll it up and let you play through and then roll it up. Right. And I'm not going to need to touch the. He's not touching the wall at all. Right. Now you wouldn't, I mean, but you can roll it with your foot while you're playing. Right. You would just turn it off and use the treadle. <laughs> Otherwise, but I mean, if you just wanted to make him buy an adjustment. Yeah. And but we're going to use that to kind of roll through it. Show the sweep of it, right? So you should we start, start at the Yeah, bottom? all the way down. Yeah, right. All right. Just a little bright. Yeah. Only two, as it should. <laughs> only two guys demoing a pedal would actually play it probably all the way at the top like that. <laughs> right. Um, I got to tell you, Morley, I think you've ruined me. Um, because having played Morley pedals, the Bad Horsey, I mean, specifically played the Bad Horsey right. for like 15, 20 years, I have never used a cock walk. That is fantastic. Yeah, and and uh, you would have heard in the intro playing probably a better representation of maybe the actual practical application for it. But we wanted to show you the, the mm -hmm. range of it when when the beard was playing some of the stuff in the beginning. He's going to label it, but yeah. Do you want to do that same thing with the woe? Yeah, and then I would played with this three times before I realized. Yeah. That we can hit the woe and do the same thing. Whoa! All right, same thing. Uh, It didn't get as ear darty mm -hmm. at the top. Do this. Click your woe off. Okay. I see. I think I know where you're going with this. Click your drive on. Okay. You mean the play just a little bit, maybe some single note stuff or something a little bit, and then click the woe on just so we can hear it with some drive. You mean click on the Barber Electronics Game Changer? The Barber that Electronics. One. talked about this pedal coming mm -hmm. he said it had a, a woe feature and I'm like I don't know what that is <laughs> I know what it is now <laughs> yeah. I, like I think I like it yes. Yes. <laughs> whoa so the next one we'd like to demo is another wall <laughs> <laughs> are you listening <laughs> Morley <laughs> no um, I have a feeling we'll be sharing that back and forth um, right it, it's that's really cool yeah. It's different, right? Like, everything's different. Everything has a little different nuance to it. I mean, or or why would they put out 8 to 10 or however many in the book? Right. Uh, well, that's what I'm, I'm thinking. When we looked at the, and you can go and look at the Morley Bad Horsey video we did and put these side by side, they're different. I mean, they mm -hmm. sound a little different, but they're both really good. Right. Um, I'll be, I have to be honest, the Bad Horsey, the 2020 Bad Horsey has been on the pedal board I've been using every Sunday morning for the last since we got it right yeah three or four weeks mm -hmm. um, and I've used it more than I should <laughs> <laughs> 
It's like when you first got a phase pedal. <laughs> you went through a phase. <laughs> wow. No, and I love it. It sounds it sounds fantastic live. Yeah. It sounds fantastic through the rig in the context of the band. We've talked about that so many times on the show that sometimes you get stuff, we get them down here, it's like, wow, that sounds really good. Yet in a live context, you're going, uh, maybe not so much. Right. Uh, we were so excited to get this one in because the first one knocked it out of the park so well, and I'm thinking this is the same thing. And Morley, we don't rave. Just a rave. Right. I mean, like, I'm really liking it. Yeah. Um, we're really I'm, I'm digging the color. I mean, I, I mentioned phase. It reminds me of like a phase 90 yeah. um, color, real, real traditional classic color. And the, the woe feature, I mean, it's great. It's, man. The wild lock, very cool. Mm-hmm. The woe feature, very cool. Having the ability to get some extra volume to boost your lead or get some serious boost, very cool. And uh, I guess the one question I have... Before we go, if you roll roll the volume way up, can you do that with your... <laughs> <laughs> no, whoa! <laughs> Don't do it with Kato. Your... Here comes Kato. All the yeah. way up? Well, that's pretty good. Okay. That's good. All right. Does, if you start playing and I kick on... So is the volume mm. knob tied to the wah lock? Okay. Okay. Uh... Mm. to that is yes yeah and we were what like there yeah so the answer to that is a resounding yes so the volume is tied to not only the wah pedal but also the wah lock so the treadle or the lock so you can use it to boost leads you can use it to really push the front yeah so if you want to do a cocked wah solo and you wanted it to, to bump it up a little bit mm-hmm. that'd be great or if you wanted to do a cocked whoa <laughs> which, <laughs> which I think yeah yeah exactly <laughs> We've got a wah, but now we've got a woe. I think we're both pretty taken by the woe part. <laughs> so much cool stuff. Yeah. Um, I think with that, like, we're there. Mm-hmm. The Morley 2020 wah lock. Um, thanks again, Morley, for sending it out. And just great job, guys. And gals. Fabulous. Peeps. Um, and with that... Really appreciate everybody that's been subscribing, clicking the like button, leaving comments down in the uh, comment section. You know, which one would you like to see down in the comic section? Go go to Morley's website, scroll through all these wonderful products they have. Let us know in the comments if there's one that you'd like to see. Um, check out nice. Instagram, check out Facebook, because... Mm-hmm. Any anytime you interact with us online, you're really helping out the channel. We really appreciate that. Thank you so much for that support. And I guess with that, I'm PJ on behalf of the Beard, reminding you: no matter what you hear, you never have too much gear.
The ending of the ending. <laughs> <laughs> I might. The very end. <laughs>